there. This is Rom Wills coming back at you with yet another car video. Road Ramble number 19. Black women go for fine brothers. And <laughs> I had to bring this up because y'all know how it is. Anytime I bring up Pookie and Ray Ray, I can just mention it. I, I can just mention it totally out of context in the video. And I get about five or six dudes in my comments, like, thumbing it down. And saying, but Pookie and Ray, Pookie and Ray Ray. And you know, the argument is, you know, that's who black women going for. If they just stop going for Pookie and Ray Ray and go for the bro good brothers and stuff, everything be all right. Let's be real, y'all. If we want to stereotype who black women go for, the only stereotype you could say is they go for fine brothers. Now, some of those brothers are Pookie and Ray Ray. Some of those brothers are some hardworking blue collar cats. Some of them are jocks. Some of them are professional brothers with dual degree six figures. Some are millionaires. What they got in common is women think they're fine. Now, to be clear, to be clear, there's no one definition of fine. Because a lot of dudes get caught up with thinking if they don't look a certain way, especially in the black community, like, you know, they, they'll say, I'm, you know, I'm light skinned, all the women go for chocolate brothers, or I'm chocolate, all the women go for light, light skinned brothers with good hair, right? Uh, I just gotta say good hair, that's another conversation, right? But the reality is, there are some women who go for light skinned brothers with uh, that different grade of hair. I just saw a video where a woman was talking about the dude she thought were the finest on uh, YouTube, of sister, right? And she was talking about the dude's hair, right? But then you get some other sisters, because I saw yet another video where some uh, young girls, they were interviewing women in a mall. I guess, I think it was in Atlanta, uh, whatever their big mall is down there. And they were asking a different black women what they like, and they were saying all sorts of things. One sister said, uh, in fact, somebody might have seen that video where she said she wanted a light-skinned brother with good hair because she didn't want nappy-haired children. But then if her girl right next to her said, no, nah, she like a tall chocolate brother, right? But whatever the case, it's fine. It's, they want a man they that look good to. Now, I know there's a bunch of stuff about looks not mattering. They... <laughs> they do matter, but it depends on what a woman's looking at. Like, fine, you know, that could be a dude with a very average face, but a muscular body. Or it could be a tall dude with a very handsome face. Right? Or it could be just a dude whose body's average, face is average, but he packing 11 inches and know how to show it. Right? You know, if you and, and that's that's the one constant with black women. They want fine dudes. Very simple. And just to be clear, women of other races want the same thing. They're just more pragmatic about going for guys with the money. But usually, when they cheat, even women of other races, when they cheat, they want to cheat with a the dude they consider fine. That's the important thing. But see, a lot of dudes get too caught up. See, part of the problem is so many dudes get caught up in that whole Pookie and Ray Ray narrative. And let's I'm, look, I'm going to be real, man. I don't I, I feel like fighting over this. People do that to make themselves feel good. It's the whole good, I'm a good guy and all of that. And these women going for it. Nah, probably just a regular guy looking guy to most women. Because that's what they're going to get turned on by. Because even, uh, and see, some guys try to see that Pookie thing where it's not the case. Case in point, Jeremy Meeks, you remember? Prison Bay or whatever. Light skinned brother, light eyes and stuff. Now, I remember when that first happened years ago, when he first came out. And a bunch of a bunch of dudes were like, oh, there you go, that's proof. These black women love thugs. You no. Know? That was just proof they like light skinned motherfuckers with light eyes. And I even did an article on my uh, website about her blog. I said, if that dude was like some corporate executive who they caught like that, it's like, boom. And y'all don't have to believe me, but I'll say this. All you had to do was get on Instagram. Just do a search. Do a search on like fine black men, black men, whatever, right? When you find those threads that feature them, and specifically the ones that cater to women, all you have to do, you don't even have to look at the dude, just look at the comments. 
look at the comments. Hell, follow some of those Instagram thoughts and see what the fuck they talking about. Hell, y'all can go on YouTube, man. You find and let's listen to some of these women enough, and they'll say what's up. But the guys ain't necessarily uh on some um. The guys ain't necessarily on some thug shit all the time. You know. In fact, they usually ain't on some thug shit. Like, one dude who got real big, man. Real big. His name is uh, Donnell Blaylock. Right? This dude's a real estate agent. But he look good to women. That's it, y'all. Seriously. And really, that fine, being fine to a black woman is really a combination of your natural genetics, your grooming, and your style. In fact, I would say it's the style that really makes the difference more so than anything else because you can take uh because a dude could have like good bone structure but if it's if his style is whack you know he don't have that thing called swag right the women still ain't gonna call him fine i mean i've had that i learned that in high school i had a woman who was saying i wasn't this or that then i came in wearing you know came to the place where it was like a summer job i came in wearing a certain outfit she said okay now you fine and that's it now it ain't good or bad it just is just i mean it's just a reality you know and some people will say uh well you know black women whack for doing that they shouldn't they should be more about character hell i talk about more about character but shit like i said the reality is all women are like that but other women in other places other races just for the time being anyway just gotta be more practical they can't be they can't be on that they gotta be more practical but trust me, when those same women cheat, I've talked to a lot of them. A lot of dudes might be thinking, oh, yeah, white women ain't like that. I talked to a lot of them. They checking for the same shit. <laughs> they checking for the exact same shit. They just more, they more practical about getting around it. In fact, the one thing I give to black women, specifically American black women, they tell you straight up where everybody else will fool you and say, you know, they, they know, woman know she ain't feeling, right? other women of other races know they ain't feeling you know they just looking at you for your inner beauty the money in your pocket and they'll be like oh yeah dad you fine you know until some fine dude actually come along and they just say look I, I, I can't fake it anymore with you sisters at least tell you straight up but whatever the case man and you know I'm talking about that because too many dudes are still on this whole Pookie and Ray Ray thing dude get out <laughs> Seriously, man, go to any college campus, man. <laughs> shoot, go to any college campus, uh, shoot, be like, be like frats and stuff, future doctors and attorneys running shit, women going crazy over. Shit, go to clubs, go to any professional organization, man. Because that's the only thing, that's the only thing. And you know, Personally, if a Pookie or if a Pookie and Ray Ray, if they just some jacked up person, and I mean, that's to the women. See, one thing too, too many guys got to stop looking at other men and thinking, oh, he don't look like anything. What would a woman want? Because that woman has a vagina and you don't. And trust me. Trust me. That's why it's like, and I did a video on that. I was like, you can't really see what a woman sees. So it's like stupid to try. It's stupid. It's stupid to try. I mean, some dudes try, but ultimately, a woman to call a dude fine, and you be like, "What?" That's why it's like it's waste. It's a waste of time for a man to do. But no, nah, that's the only general thing. In fact, when I talk about select, non-select, that's basically the. That's basically what the separation is. The select men are fine. The non-select ones are uh, regular, basic. I mean, it is what it is. I mean, like, when we talk about game in the black community, and, you know, some people, like, want to think things have changed and shit. It's like, nah. Because game in the black, the old school game, was keeping yourself in shape, dressing well, making sure that haircut was tight. I was talking about this the other day. You get those old school brothers, what they do? Even if they had an average-looking face, what they do? Well, one, they played ball more. That was one thing. They played ball a lot more. They actually stayed in better shape. Like, more people actually went out for sports. So, when they were younger, it was in general shape. You didn't see the people out of shape like you do now. You really don't. You know, I remember, shoot, way back in the day, like in the NFL now, it's nothing to have a 300-pound lineman or something. 
And I remember back in the early 80s with the Washington Redskins when they had that uh, famous offensive line, the Hogs. It was a big deal that one of them was over 300. <laughs> I'm serious. I think like the starting center was like 260. Now you got high school students like that. So, you know, they were in different shape back in the day. So they had that. You know, everybody was fly. You had more tellers. Everybody cared more about their personal style. Everybody wasn't like following everybody else. You didn't have that whole dirty, grungy look that came in in the 90s and shit, right? You know, and barbershops. That's why barbershops got big because everybody, everybody was in a, in a, had to get a fly cut. And that was part of it. Part of their dormant or all of that because all of that goes into it. And that's the only universal, that's the only universal you can say a woman wants. She want a dude who's fine. You know, because even even some hood girls who would normally go for a Pookie and Ray Ray, I seen them going crazy over some like white collar brother or some educated brother who looked good to them. I've seen it. Shoot, they just shoot. All of a sudden, they start trying to talk good and <laughs> you know, trying to like act like they got a little bit more sense. I've seen that so many times. Seriously, man. And I'm just saying that, man, because here's the problem, man. If you come into my channel, what's my channel? My channel is mainly like self-improvement. Not just for getting women, but in life, man. But you can't self-improve if you think you're already defeated because, you know, you ain't some hood dude or something. In fact, I'm going to talk in my next one and whatnot, man. I'm going to talk about that, man. I'm going to talk about that. Anybody can, anybody can get, anybody can improve this shit, anybody. Right? Anybody can learn some style. Anybody can go to the gym. Because where am I coming from? I'm 53 years old, and yet I can probably bench press better than uh, more than like some 20 year olds out here. Anybody, anybody can improve themselves physically. Anybody can become fine. That's the thing. You can control that shit. Yeah, even your face will change. You lift enough. You get, you know, you get enough body fat off your face. Will even look different. So, anyway, right. I just want to share that. I know somebody going to get in their feelings and trigger because I mentioned Pookie and Ray Ray. Y'all need to get over that shit. You know how I dealt with Pookie and Ray Ray when I was young? Honestly. Because I know some people got bullied and shit. I took my fingers, right? And then I slowly balled up my fist. And then I introduced it to a Pookie's face. Multiple times. Now, he introduced some stuff to my face too, but... He didn't want to fuck with me no more because he knew there was a consequence for it. That's how you deal with that shit. So anyway, right? That's it for now. I'll talk to y'all later. Peace and blessings.